We're back. We're here at Boat Life Live today. It's our third year running coming to this show. Normally we get a hotel, we come for the full four days, but this year she's had her teeth out. I have my wisdom tooth out only two days ago and it's very sore, <laughs> so we're just here for the day. So no pizza time, no hotel, we're just going to check out as many boats as we can in one day. Let's see what it's like. And we're in. Right, we're in and because we've only got a number of hours we're going to get stuck straight in and head to the inland waterway section. Maybe have a look at some boats, see what stalls are around. It's our favourite section of course. <laughs> the first year there was only like two narrow boats and I think this year there's like four. It's getting more and more but not as many as we would like to see but we'll see. It's never enough. <laughs> some photography on show. Uh, this is a fan thing that looks really cool but the camera can't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jill Shaw photography and it's photography of all different people throughout the canal network. It's really sweet. Look who it is. It's weird to think that our very first Boat Life Life we met Tim and Sam Yeah. We did our little <laughs> It's a really cool series that basically just shows all the different weird and wonderful ways that people live on boats. There's like pizza boats, project boats. The so Del Boy boat. Yeah. Different types of traders, all sorts. It's still quite early, so the queues are relatively small, so we're gonna jump on a few boats. So there's four narrow boats and a wide beam. Which we think is a bit less than last year. Yes, let's have a look. We're on Collingwoods at the moment. Oh, it's the wide beam. Fancy wide beam. I've got posh socks on today. I forgot you have to take your shoes off. I've got an hole in my sock. <laughs> Check out these bad boys there. Wide beams are so big that you can basically have a waiting room <laughs> just on the stern, it's crazy. It's <laughs> one of the ones where you steer with a wheel. I really don't understand how people manage. What if you need to check a blind spot over there? You don't have to know. run, leave it, leave it on its own. Run, check it. Oh, I'm going to hit the bridge. Run back. <laughs> there we go. I'm immediately jealous. That's so good. <laughs> I'd love something like that. Oh, they've got a proper accumulated tank and everything. Mm. All this space right. though, Amy, and that's the amount of plastic they're really storing. Really Are you kidding me? Rookies. Yeah. <laughs> they've even got a Pepsi Max fridge. Perfect. <laughs> I miss our corner suit for massively. Stretch out. Have Rufus, Dupes, me, and you. Why <laughs> Rufus and Dupes got all that room? We've That's got... how it works. You know it is. <laughs> I like that there's still a proper it stove. It's not I don't know. I like the gas stove. There's something so cosy about seeing the flames. A nice wide corridor. Oh, look at that. Our shower's just started leaking as well. <laughs> so much room for activities. Oh, it's so big. Most important thing though, what side toilet is it? A pump out, which is an interesting choice. Lots of the modern boat builds always have a compost. Or incinerator, seems to be increasingly popular. Ooh. <laughs> Everyone else is like, oh, look at this. We're like, what <laughs> pump have they got for the toilet? <laughs> oh, that's not that clean. <laughs> It really blows my mind though when you have twin sinks in a bathroom in a boat. We can't even stand next to each other on our boat unless we're face to face. But that, I just feel like this is a luxury it's, that you don't need. It's unnecessary. I'd rather have another cupboard. Yeah. Or a washing machine. Yeah. Is that? I know. I like looking at how they do their wiring and stuff. <laughs> secret little room. secret room. Secrets. 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 Hmm. 
Yes. Okay, Amy, it's a statue that shows you exactly how you'll feel at all times when you live on a boat. Yes, it's accurate. <laughs> Thank you. What do you reckon then? How does it weigh up compared to Gigi? The shower looks functioning, <laughs> but it's not the same. It's not our Gigi. So we were just waiting to try and get onto one of the narrow boats, but the way that that boat was working was they were doing like a guided tour, so the queue was quite long, but we've got like a little meet get together -y thing yeah. to go to now, so we're going to go do that now. So please consider we're in a prize drop! giveaway meet up met loads of lovely people it was great and now Steve and Andy are having to go at the pool so obviously we've got to film them look at them go Woo! Steve you're a natural easy easy If you want to find out if Steve fell in, you'll have to watch their vlog, I'm afraid. Paddleboarding looks really easy, but it is actually so difficult. We can't do it this year because of Amy's tooth, but we did try it last year and we did both go in. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that, check it out there. <laughs> Lunch time. What have you got, old toothy? Mash. Amy's got a very exciting mashed potato. You got a little jelly. <laughs> you excited? No. I've got a little cheese sandwich, but it's mm. just using the leftover rubbish cheese in partial solidarity with Amy. We've just had some lunch, my mash, and now it is time. It looks a bit quieter, so we might try and get on the rest of the narrowboats. Yeah. So we're going to look at Stargazer from JF Boat Building. Are you jealous of the Preston removable cushions? I'm jealous of the seating because that's one thing I don't like about Gigi is mm. I don't have anywhere to sit when we're cruising or the person that's not driving. There's nowhere to sit. We really loved this boat and we got a full tour from Jamie showing us all the fancy and cool ways to find storage in the narrow boat. Like storing a freezer under the sea. We loved this stove area with the tiling, it was so pretty. I was pretty jealous of the walk-in shower. And he had a really nice solution for hiding the fold-out bed. But our favourite bit of the whole boat was the bow. I love the bow on this one, look at this. That was a really nice boat, Stargazer. It's quite similar to a lot of the other new build ones that you get, but I feel like there was some really nice consideration for practicality of living on the boat. So just all the different ways that you can access things that might break. Yeah. I thought it was really good and that bow was beautiful. I like the bow. We're just going to have a little mooch now because it's ten past three already. The day has gone so quickly. But I think a lot of the show is much of the same. It's a lot of kind of very expensive dinghies and 
I very feel fancy like, boats. No offence if you've got one, but for me, I think once you've been on one of them, you've kind of been on them all. Yeah. They're very similar. But we did see one boat that stood out, so we're going to go have a look at that now. We have absolutely no idea what it is, but it looks big and exciting. I think you can go inside. Maybe you can't go in it. <laughs> they all look... I'm scared to ask, so we're not going to go in it. There's what also, is it? There's a ladder, which doesn't seem like a very official way in. And there's people that look like mechanical people, just tinkering. Then what are they going to do? <laughs> Once I'm on there, they can't... They can't stop me. Amy's about to boat jack someone. <clears throat> oh, there's, there's movement. It's really slippy. There's no like tunnel. Hey, I found the one here with my holy socks. <laughs> oh yeah. Can we have a look? A quick look, yeah. We can't get inside. Just the race team, so they come inside. We can come up and have a yeah. look. Yeah. Oh yeah, brilliant. It's extremely slippy, so okay. Goodness. Just be very careful. Hold on, in. hold on in here. Yeah, be very careful. And what we race up would be. Easy. Yeah, exactly. No. Watch out, very slippy. Not, not the driver, just the driver. It's rock landing. Buzz looks like a natural on it. So it's a racing speedboat. Its top speed is 150 miles an hour. That is crazy. Okay, so we were brave and we asked, and it is basically a racing speedboat go 155 miles an hour and you have a racing team of like four or five people in it just hurtling around at ridiculous <laughs> speeds but the guy that we were speaking to is actually like a championship racer so he's also got like jet skis and other things that he just races all year on which is very cool quite a different pace to the four miles an hour on a canal bringing out like a smaller sachet range. so we've won these in the raffle and they are basically a detailing spray for just like polishing and cleaning and making things look nicer and spotless for removing the calcium buildup. But the nice thing is that if they go into the canal, it's absolutely fine because they're completely eco friendly. So we're excited to give them a go, you make Gigi, Gigi look shiny. As with most places like this, they've got some really nice looking hot tubs. But obviously, most of the time they're just for display. But there, there's a guy going round just going in. I wonder if he's like a, sh he's like part of the show or something. Well, maybe he, he just, makes he's videos. He's just chilling in them. But he's, we keep seeing him in different ones. How do we get that kind of set up? Where's he getting all the water from? <laughs> <laughs> Does he bring it himself? They've got some stalls here this year as well. Oh yeah. yeah. They so, uh, are like stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. So I'm at the stall of the wellies that I want, extra stuff. Extra stuff. Extra stuff. Yeah. Extra, extra stuff. So I'm trying on my prize. <laughs> They're really nice. Comfy. Yeah. This is the These are my favourite, I think. They've got loads of cool styles. Yeah. Live in this. Yeah. This is so cute. So nice. Yeah. It's 
like a handcrafted wooden trailer. Really cozy. It's got all the amenities that we used to, like a little wet room. Ellie's in here. It's got a telly and a worktop. It's got a cooker and oven. Really nice. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, this is setting the standard for when we eventually do that. Line. This is what we're gonna build. Yeah, we're gonna build this ourselves on our metal saw and Brutus. <laughs> Fridge? Whoa, that's cool. Look how many chips you can store in there. I love it. So cozy. So just to summarise, our favourite thing at Boat Life Live this year is a trailer. Camping trailer. <laughs> Time to look at a Collingwood Narrow. Ooh. Feels very light. Very nice. I'm quite jealous of like the L-shaped kitchens. Mm. I feel like ours feel so much narrower because it's just on either side, but I do like this. And a half dinette. I really like this sort of setup because you can have it, it just feels a bit more open. Whereas if you have a traditional dinette, it feels like one section, then another section. This just feels like one space. You could squeeze a sofa there. A little sofa number. <laughs> I do like the stoves with like, just somewhere to put the logs. Yeah, because all it does is make your flue shorter. Cream carpet on a narrow boat there, brave choice. That is brave. <laughs> Especially with a coal stove. That food's nice though. We're still back and forth on, on the walk through. Because some people say, oh, well, it's not very good because if you close it, then you've locked off half the boat if the bathroom's in use. But we don't really care about that. I think just having a bigger feeling bathroom just is The main nice. downside is the stove heat. Mm. It is very nice. It's very spacious. Hello. Hello, camera that's already in here that I'm pretending to end. <laughs> you should do it like homes under the hammer. So that's now about. Yeah. So this narrowboat actually becomes comes equipped with a bed, which is actually very common. And I don't know much about the boat. <laughs> what's in there? Oh. What's that? It's Batteries. A thrister. I think there's a power thruster. What's in there? What's in here? Shh. Water bomb. because a lot of these boats have a similar layout to ours, just finished a bit nicer. Look at these. Smooth round, if you catch your head on that, you're fine. You're walking away, you didn't even notice. On ours, that's an A&E trip waiting to happen. <laughs> these doors are narrow. <laughs> you supposed to go through them like that. Well, that's a wrap for Boat Life 2024. We've just been racing around in the last hour or so, just having a look at anything and everything, but yeah, it's been pretty good. Yeah, we've had a really good day. It's been nice to see everyone. Thank you if you said hello. It's lovely to meet you. We saw way more people than we expected to see, but it was so nice. So yeah, thanks to everyone. We were able to get on a few boats, which was cool. There was less boats than last year, which is a little bit disappointing. Less inland waterways boats. Um, and loads more fishing which isn't for us but we still think it's definitely worth it for a day trip i think the tickets are only about 15 20 pounds so yeah, it's a good bad. day out and it's connected right next to the station and it's got a massive car park which is yeah. really good so we've had a good day yeah big thanks for watching thank you to the chip pals on patreon and we'll see you next time Hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thanks again to the Boat Life team for inviting us. Another huge thank you to our Patreons and thank you to Jerry, Jake, Beth and baby Roscoe for the chips this week. And DB Boots for the super thanks. See you, See next, you next time. time. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs>